Hi there, my name is Christian. In this video I'm going to compare these two in order to decide if I can finally throw away this brick and only shoot on my beloved smartphone, the S22 Ultra. The first thing that pops into your mind when you think of the S22 Ultra's camera, its insane ability to zoom. The question is, are we getting closer to the point where these amazing phones we completely replaced professional cameras? Now, I want to put this beast to the test by comparing it to the top of the Fuji and APS-C camera, the Fujifilm X-T4, with a 70-300mm telephoto lens. I want to figure out the differences in both videos and still, now this setup is no joke, so Samsung's going to have to use all of its wizardry to stand the slightest chance. So we are here at our first location, now let me show you our setup. Both cameras are going to be on the tripod with a 2 second timer. This would reduce camera shake to minimum. Other than that, we led them to set their own exposure. This includes the ISO aperture, the shutter speed, we're going to use autofocus as well. Our first subject is going to be this beautiful little girl. We have the Fuji on the left and the Samsung's on the right. And in this test, we're going to look at the image quality first of all. There are two obvious differences as soon as you look at the footage. The Fuji looks like a Hollywood movie and the Samsung looks very digital. But in the same time, the Samsung Sky looks nice and blue and you can see the clouds and everything. Meanwhile, the Fuji is completely blown back out. More. Okay. We're going to go to the three times telephoto. Moving back. So this was a three times telephoto <laughs> test. And I'm going to zoom in with the Fuji camera as well, just to the same distance. There we go. And then after this one, I'm going to send her back to the end and I'm going to take some photos still on the tripod. So here we have the widest camera and the Samsung on the right and Fuji on the left. This is the main camera. This is the three times optical zoom, 10 times optical zoom, 30 times digital and then 100 times digital. You can tell the difference is huge. The Samsung here looks like a painting more than anything. Now the S22 Ultra due to its smaller lens size works best during the day in a bright environment. So the previous image quality test kind of favored the Samsung phone because by the time I shoot with the Fuji a cloud just came in and covered everything so it was overcast. Even then we have to give the first test to Fuji especially when we use 100 times digital zoom. What we're going to do next is we're going to grab that piece of paper and we take it as far back as we can and we'll take some extra zoom pictures of it. Here we are, Samsung on the right, Fuji on the left as usual. This is our main camera, the first one was the widest. This is the 3 times, this is the 10 times digital zoom. 30 times optical zoom and then 100 times optical zoom. Oh my god, both of the cameras did absolutely amazing. Look at that. But still, I have to give the edge to Fuji. To list some of the reasons why people purchase a telephoto lens, beside the longer reach that will help you to get closer to the action when you shoot like sports or wildlife, you get this unique compression with these lenses. It creates a super distinct look by increasing the size of the background. Let me show you what I mean. But that's not the only thing it does. Longer lenses usually create stronger subject separation, even with a narrower aperture. The question is, does the S22 Ultra's 10x telephoto lens gives us similar results? Let's find out. Here we are, we're using the best telephoto lens on the S22 Ultra, the 10 times telephoto one on the right and Fuji on the left. Well, yeah, the difference is massive, isn't it? So the S22 Ultra said to have this 10 times optical zoom lens, but what does that even mean? 10 times zoom isn't a measurement like 300mm on the APS-C sensor. That's what this camera has, 300mm and APS-C sensor inside. What they actually mean by 10 times optical zoom is the difference between the widest angle the phone can shoot and the tightest. It's 10 times the difference. Okay, then let's break down what exactly we have here and get a bit technical. So, the S22 Ultra's widest lens has a 120 degrees angle of view, which almost exactly 8mm on the APS-C sensor. It's 12 megapixels with an f2.2 aperture, it has optical image stabilization, OIS for short. It's like a gimbal built inside your phone, it's pretty impressive stuff. It stabilizes the sensor to improve your image quality. Now, if you want to record videos while moving forward, this is your lens, because it has the widest angle of view, it creates a lot of movement and it's very stable because of the OIS. Okay, the second rear camera is also a wide one. Now, this is your best choice for resolution, low light performance and image quality. It has 108 megapixels, f1.8 aperture with OIS and it's 15 millimeters wide. The third camera, the three times telephoto one, is 10 megapixels f2.4 this one also is OIS and it's 43 millimeter APS-C and finally the 10 times zoom lens it's 10 megapixels f4.9 10 degrees field of view which equals 150 millimeter APS-C and we're not going to use the front camera in this video which is by the way 40 megapixels f2.2 and it's 14 millimeter equivalent. In conclusion, as you have seen from the test, the very best phone in the world today doesn't even come close to the two-year-old top-of-the-range Fuji camera but and it's a big but. It doesn't mean that it's not amazing. I mean, what the S22 Ultra can do is pretty crazy stuff. I would go even a step further and say that this phone is more than enough for content creators. And in fact, beats this heavy, awkward setup in so many different ways. It's super easy and convenient to use. 
there's no learning curve which is pretty steep with the Fuji and don't forget we only talked about the cameras here not to mention the tests we did were very specific and favored the Fuji camera I could have done walking video shots and Fuji looked really bad without a gimbal plus this costs twice as much and it's not the best entertaining portal like the S22 Ultra is so yeah as always I really appreciate you watching my videos to the end so please like it for me and sub for more thank you see you in the next one bye